Alright, so this is how you get Sideswipe working on PC and optionally even getting it to run through Steam. So the first thing you'll want to do is to go to the link that I'll have in the description, rlss.gg forward slash download. That'll take you to this Mediafire page and from there you just hit download and you'll get your zip file. So once that's downloaded, you're going to want to right click it and then hit extract all. So this is going to create a folder with all the contents of the zip file and these are all the things that are necessary for both setting up the game and also setting up the Steam link. So once we have all these files separated, we're going to run bluestacks.exe. This is just the installation for Bluestacks 4, which is an Android emulator. Um, I have tried using Bluestacks 5, but unfortunately it both doesn't support shortcuts and it also doesn't actually allow for controller support so unless you have a touch screen it's not going to do much good for you. So we can actually close this instance of Bluestacks because what we actually want is to open up the Bluestacks instance manager so we can hit create instance on the 64-bit version. We're just going to set the CPU and RAM to high so we get the best performance possible. All the other things can be changed in the settings and so we can just do them later if necessary. So now that that's done, we just want to click start on the Bluestacks N-64. The reason why we've gone through this process is because the game needs a 64-bit version of Android to run on. Once Bluestacks is loaded, I click, I'll do it later, but you really should log in here because you will need to be signed into Google for later. On the right bar, you'll see a button called install APK. You just click that and then navigate through a directory until you find the folder that you had all the files in. The apk mirror.apk is the file that we want to select for this one and we need this because Rocket League Sideswipe is an apks file. Now before we open that app we actually want to go into the media manager which is built into Bluestacks because we still need to import the apks file. So you click import from windows and then you navigate back to the files again and then you want to click rlss.apks. This is the actual game files and they're what's going to be imported through the APK Mirror program. Unfortunately, we can't just install the game directly through the install APK button because APKS files and APK files are completely different. The reason why we use APK Mirror program is because that is what is used to actually extract the game from the APKS file and then install it correctly onto Bluestacks. Having said that, we'll now open the APK Mirror app and we'll go back into DCIM shared folder and then we'll find the APKS file in here. The app will probably expect that you watch an advertisement at this point, but you just finish that and then you can click close and then it'll just continue as normal. Once that's done, you should be able to click install app and then APK Mirror should be setting it all up for you. Once this is done, you'll have the Rocket League Sideswipe app in your Bluestacks, but you don't want to open it yet. Instead, go back to home and click on settings. From there, set the graphics engine to compatibility. This might take a moment to set it, but it should be fine. Then set the ASTC textures to hardware decoding if you can, otherwise use software decoding. Once it's reloaded, Bluestacks should be correctly set up to run the game. You'll be asked to sign in with Epic Games, so once you complete that, you should be able to get into the game and everything should work fine. One thing I forgot to mention is that you'll also want to go into Preferences and click Force On under Game Control Settings so your controller will be usable. Now we're going to set up the game on Steam. Click on Add a Game, Add a non-Steam Game, and then go to Browse. Now this file location I'll have in the description as well, so you just want to paste that in and then you're going to want to look for a file that's called hd-runapp.exe Once you've found it, click on it and then click open and then finally click add selected programs. This will add the game to the bottom of your Steam library as you can see here. Now by default this won't actually open the game since we haven't specified what specifically we want to open. By using the shortcut it generated on the desktop by going into its properties, we can copy the target and put that in the place of the game settings. This Steam game is basically just a shortcut, which is why we can do this. Under these settings, we can also change the name of the game and upload a new icon for the game. So logo.png, which was part of the zip file that we originally used, can be used for this. 
Now you can just navigate your way back to those files from this directory and you might not see the file and that's because the file type is set to anything.exe and because the image is a JPEG it's not showing up so you can just set that to any file and then you'll see it and you'll be able to select it. And so you can see here that it's all set up with the icon and the name all correctly showing. When we click play on this it's just going to open up BlueStacks and then automatically load the game up. And with that everything's done. So this will actually show to your friends on Steam that you're playing Sideswipe because in their friends list it'll show your name playing Sideswipe. So hopefully with that you have everything working and the game's working great for you. Uh, hopefully you get to enjoy the game before beta comes out in probably a couple months. You'll get a bit of a warm up going beforehand. You might be able to have a better chance at getting into the higher ranks early on. So enjoy.